welcome to that 90s Spider-Man show. But if you're having a good, like, mid-season break, we certainly are. This is a bit of a bonus episode we thought to just record one day. So, like you, we love Spider-Man the Animated Series. But unlike you, we didn't have the foresight to avoid the YouTube comments, because we've kind of gone through the whole season and found all the good YouTube comments, and trust us, there are some doozies. I'm one of your hosts today, my name's Henry, and alongside me is Jack. Hey there. And today we've got a hell of a lot of comments for you. Yeah. Some of them weird, some of them wonderful, but a lot of them weird. There's a lot of videos about this show on YouTube. Surprisingly. Because the, to be honest, the DVD situation for it and the streaming situation for it is pretty fucked. So a lot of people are doing it, yeah. you know, by just watching it on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, where people have got around copyright in weird ways. Yeah. But that means there are a lot of YouTube comments and... So many comments. And a lot of them are the same, to be honest. But yeah. But some of them are just like this pure, like, dumb YouTube... Just insanity. It's, it's just this level of, I am putting my pure, like, monkey brain face <laughs> out into the world, and I'm not thinking about it. I'm dropping my pants and just dropping a big word diarrhea, like, stream onto this keyboard. Yeah, but there's some good stuff. We're just going to do this, like... Chronologically, I guess, right? Yeah, let's just okay. go first episode onwards, but... The, I, I just had this. We had to share some of this stuff. I was gonna send some of it to Henry, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's just let's, let's just, just do like it. do a just little do a recording thing. about yeah. it." Yeah. Without further ado. Well, first off, there's uh, the Night of the Lizard, the very first episode. Oh yeah. There are loads of comments on this. Mm-hmm. Most of them are about two things: mm-hmm. the '90s and the Amazing Spider-Man movie. The first one with with the lizard. Ah, uh, yeah. So Brilliant. there's a lot of arguments about that, but a lot of people are just, I don't know. It kind of. As someone who grew up in the nineties, I get yeah. There's the nostalgia for the stuff you watch when you were a kid, and you yeah. look at the new stuff, and you're like, "This isn't as good as the stuff I half remember from when I was four years old." <laughs> but <laughs> really, but, but but some you really do look at these comments, and yeah. you're like, "Oh man, we're just all clones of each other." <laughs> just a million comments, just saying, "Man, the nineties were great. The nineties yeah. were great. I love the nineties. Spider Man is great." So some like 90s. shitty like hive mind villain like we're all just like really lame nostalgic borg yeah yeah exactly <laughs> mr me seeks or something <laughs> um anyway starting off with this we got one from emily chio which says i may have been born in 2001 but this is how i first remember spider-man she gets a reply from guy nation who oh, says no. me too i'm born in 2004 but i had a 90s childhood <laughs> <laughs> It's not how it works. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the that's the level of like nineties nostalgia gone rampant. Yeah, is that people having nostalgia from it just secondhand. Yeah, it's like a secondhand smoke. It's like nostalgic for nostalgia. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> it's but bizarre. I mean, there's a level to that as well. Where I think, for instance, um, someone who was born in eighty eight who was seven years old when this show was airing. Yeah, they could have a better memory of it. You know, and they can be like a bit like, oh, this person who was born in 96 is saying they had a nice childhood, but they can't even remember the 90s. Yeah. You know, but they... What a sad straw man this is, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, there, there is that kind of thing. I've seen it with my, my brother and sister being yeah. older and stuff, but yeah, there's definitely like a level where I'm like, if you were born five years out of the 90s, <laughs> yeah, fuck don't, off. don't talk about your nice childhood. Shut the fuck up, come on. <laughs> then there's a bit of a shit show starts when oh, of course. emo vamp burnout <laughs> says... Kind of neat how this episode is basically the plot to The Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, no. Which is what you said. Yeah. Uh, in the thing, you were like, wait a minute. <laughs> this Saturday morning cartoon did a better... The plot made more sense here than The Amazing Spider-Man. And first of all, you get someone who's uh, from another person who says, only this is actually good. And that's where it kind of kicks off. Oh, no. And um, a guy called Simple Truths comes with this simple truth. Oh, no. And says, The Amazing Spider-Man is practically a beat-by-beat remake of this episode's plot. Either they're both good or they're both bad. Wow, that's a, that's a very simple truth. Yeah. Probably it, over simple. <laughs> yeah, so simple that it actually it, doesn't yeah. make sense. Simple mind thought up that comment. And then another one that says, This is how I knew who Spider-Man is, dot dot dot. This show, dot dot dot, is the reason why pizza time is all the time. What? I I think <laughs> I I think it's like okay. I'm gonna go with it here. Are you gonna try and explain what that was? Pizza time, Spider Man Two. Pizza time is the meme from Spider Man Two. Okay. Therefore, they're equating the Spider Man phenomenon 
as Pizza Time. <laughs> and this is the true origins of Pizza Time, yeah. which is a, a way of life. But there's no pizza in this episode. I, I don't know. It's where the Pizza Time started. <laughs> then there's this long argument between Edward III and Fletcher Sykes. They're a bit heated talking about James Cameron. <laughs> Basically, they're like, I don't know if you knew that, there was James Cameron almost made a Spider-Man movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made, obviously a Spider-Man movie. Okay, he says, this series is supposed to take place right after the James Cameron movie. However, the movie never happened. A few people are like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then this Fletcher guy comes in and says, this series has nothing to do with Cameron's proposed Spidey film. Thank God that movie never got made. Cameron's ideas were garbage. Wow. And then Edward III came back saying, I said supposed to. That's why Sandman is not in the series. Before proving how right you are, get my written text in order and know what words mean. And then Ooh. Fletcher gets a bit pissed because he goes, um, you know it's good when they start with um. Um, yeah. You alluded to there being a link and I'm telling you there wasn't any sort of link between the two, period. The villain in Cameron's film was supposed to be Doc Ock and so what if the cartoon didn't use Sandman? There are many characters that won't use. Fact is, you don't know what you're talking about. So how about you learn to do that first before trying to correct someone who's ironically correcting you? Then Edward III comes back saying, Doc Ock was replaced by Electra and Sandman. You got that wrong. I wonder what else on a great many things you've gotten wrong. All you read was the first script, dumb fuck. In all oh caps. shit. I wonder how much time was wasted for these t- these two comments. They could yeah. have been like out there like, I don't know, working out, like writing that screenplay, finding love, like who knows? There's definitely like a specific type of youtube comment where someone says something makes a minor mistake and then someone gets really 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 mean about it then the next person says why are you being a dick and then just gets really dark out of nowhere and just like people start talking shit for no reason whatsoever yeah i'm picturing like what was it like there's a joke in rick and morty about it that about like jerry's self-esteem where he's like (laughs) Like, um, he got in, he gets into an argument with, like, a guy on YouTube for, like, hours. <laughs> it's such a dumb thing. It's such a stupid thing, man. Jerry, remember that time you left a comment underneath that YouTube video when someone replied and called you a dumbass, so you replied and told them it takes one to know one, and then you stayed up all night hitting refresh on your browser waiting for them to reply, and then you fell asleep crying? I remember it differently. Then there's another guy called Arthur Hill who comments, and he's commented this on, like, a lot of videos. Yeah. And it just says, I hope Spider-Man, Fox Kids, PS2, Night of the Lizards. I hope Spider-Man... Two Fox Kids, Kids, PS2, Night of the Lizards. Well, I have to agree with what in that. I think he just, like, splurged, like, SEO. Yeah. Page. <laughs> it's like SEO diarrhea. Then there's a guy called Shiny Black, who says, yo, Peter is buff. <laughs> well, he is. Yeah, and we talked about that, yeah, right? Like, he's, he's fucking hench. I found quite a few comments about it, just, like, how hench Spider-Man is. <laughs> And how, well, how hunch Peter is, because yeah. he's meant to be downplaying it. Yeah, it's a fucking unit. It's great. There's another one that comes from I Hernandez 2 at student.monroecc.edu Naruto123. That's a username. Is that the comment? Oh, oh that's, that's a, a whole comment. That's, that's a username. <laughs> okay. And their comment is poor Spider Man fighting in literal doo doo water. <laughs> And he's right, you don't think about it, because he's just, he's in the sewers, he's fighting in general kind of greenish water, yeah. Yeah. but he's fighting in sh- absolute shit. I'm fighting in doo-doo water. And this Hernandez person, like, turns up, like, on all these videos, <laughs> and you always know it, because it's the longest username on the whole page. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, and another one comes from All Father Mul Revan Tyrannos 19. Okay, sure. He's talking about Margaret Connors. Oh, um, Kurt Connors' wife. Kurt Connors' wife. And he says, Margaret is a real thick milf. (laughs) Wow. And then there's Narrow Killer, who says, I don't think being a two meter tall, sexy humanoid lizard would have been (laughs) that bad an idea. (laughs) Oh, well. I should have known people wanted to fuck the lizard. Yeah, yeah. But he's also like... That's that's how you know the amazing Spider-Man movie failed because no one wanted to fuck that lizard. <laughs> like even the internet didn't. Want to. Even the far as now, people want to fuck this lizard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look at this like sexy jacket. But I just I love the idea of this guy watching the end of the episode where Kurt Connors is reverted back to human form and being like bummed out. Yeah, he's like oh, oh. he's a rewind because he's losing wood. Anyway, that's the end of the lizard comments. Then one to we've got a few less ones for Spider Slayer. Okay. 
Slay with them spiders, boy. One is just kind of a depressing comment, which is, these new Spidey films with Tom Holland can learn from these 90s cartoons. Spidey humour, adding in the Defenders into the MCU, Kingpin. There's so much good material they can add to the films that would get people hyped. You heard it here first, the Defenders will be on the big screen in the MCU with their own solo and group films. I hope. <laughs> this was two weeks ago. Oh, this guy should know better by now. <laughs> so deluded. And the other one I got from this is, this is why the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man was so epic. <laughs> because it played well off this cartoon. I think people that haven't watched this cartoon are the ones that don't like the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Wow, that's a and, big claim. Yeah, we can prove you wrong. Erroneous we, as hell. What are you talking about? Yeah, because we don't like that those movies, and we make a podcast about this fucking show. So you can say we've seen a few episodes. Yeah, we care too much. Yeah, and then this guy replies saying, "No, people don't like the Amazing Spider-Man because of the acting, the story arc, and the complete betrayal of the source material. The reason Spider-Man becomes Spider-Man is to fight for justice. In the Amazing Spider-Man, he fights for revenge. That's just not Spider-Man." He actually kind of like boils down the Amazing Spider-Man problem quite quite concisely. succinctly, yeah. yeah. But like it was just like the character just wasn't fatal to the comics at all. In the Return of the Spider Slayer, we got someone says if they gave Tom Holland a Spider Slayer to fight in the MCU, that would be great. Okay. And then someone says replies saying hope, and then uh, another guy replies saying in all caps, "Fuck this idea." <laughs> Do you see the two sides of that debate? Yeah, you can see like it's got like a bit of support on both sides. Yeah, and then Arthur Hill is back with, I hope Spider-Man fucks kids in PS2. <laughs> he keeps coming back. Uh... And then there's... Um... <laughs> this is a great exchange. Someone says, Mary Jane is thick. It's a lot of thick yeah, yeah, comments. Th- yeah, there are a lot of thick comments. And then uh, someone replies saying, she's more thick in the comments. <laughs> Someone replies saying, what do you mean by thick? She looks thin to me. Uh, and then someone says, the actual term would be thick, spelled T-H-I-C-C. While it is a term sometimes used to describe someone who's overweight, the use oh of the God. word here is basically saying that she has a hot ass slash big boobs. So thank you, Tom, for that was, clarification. Yeah, we were so lost without you. Then on to episode four, we got Doc Ock, Armed and Dangerous. We got a comment from Andrea, who says, man, that hair, you... <laughs> She, she's right yeah and then static gaming says boy shut the hell up <laughs> <laughs> and then she replies and she replies and if i don't what and by the way i'm a girl <laughs> there's a lot of Ooh, in these comments <laughs> and then here's a question posed by chrome force that says how long can doc ock's arms stretch exactly can they stretch at all like would they kind of because they're really close to him, yeah. and then they come out. Oh, yeah. I thought they were all kind of like tucked in there, just like, I don't know, doing arm shit. I don't know, they like they like fold up like a slinky. Yeah. <laughs> but then how long do they get? Because I think this is a style thing, like yeah. in different comics and shows and stuff, sometimes they can be super long, sometimes they're like kind of close to him. Oh, I guess, yeah. I mean, it kind of it kind of looked useful if he's going to climb over buildings, or like he wants to like, I don't know, be really, really good at basketball for some reason. That, that's the worst game to watch ever if it's just going across the whole court. This octopus man just dominating. Yeah. <laughs> probably like the Daily Bugle would be less, more safe if like he went for the NBA instead of for science, but like he probably wouldn't have become a scientist then. He'd just be regular octopus man. <laughs> yeah, not, 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 <laughs> not Doctor octopus, octopus, just Octopus. Just Octopus. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Octopus. Call me Mr. Octopus. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Octopus going oh. around the court. He's, he shoots for the three. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> You know, there's a weird Michael thing. Jordan looks on and shot. I don't know if we ever mentioned this in the uh, Doc Ock episode we did back in episode four, but I almost brought it up, but we talked so much shit in that episode, I don't think there was room for it. Yeah. But there's a really funny thing where I was playing the Spider-Man PS4 game, Otto Octavius. Fantastic. was in that game. I was looking at the IMDb to just look at voice actors, and then they had Otto Octavius, who was credited as the voice actor, Otto Octavius slash Mr. Octopus. And I, as soon as I saw that, I couldn't stop laughing for so long <laughs> because it's such a less threatening name. Yeah. Mr. Octopus. It sounds like something out of like some kids' cartoon. Yeah. I am Mr. Octopus and I have eight legs. Also, going back to my NBA riff, I just thought of like Dr. Octopus as like this like amazing NBA star. And then what was he? In, what if he was in Space Jam? I mean, I mean, it's still time. Yeah. Crossover. <laughs> Do, who owns Space Jam anyway? Warner it, Brothers. Oh, it's Warner Brothers. So yeah. It can't be Disney. Can't be Disney. Like, that, well, that's the eventual crossover we'll get at some yeah. point when like, they run out of ideas. Alfred Molina with all these like cartoons. 
<laughs> I saw Alfred Molina in a movie the other day where it was him in the eighties and he was a lot younger and I, that like throughout the start of the movie I was like that guy looks like just like Alfred Molina and when the credit came up about Alfred Molina I was like yes yeah, Alfred Molina he pl- plays a Russian man and I uh, like ninety percent way through the movie I was like this guy has no lines <laughs> but at one point he does get in a fight with a guy and beat him by like bear hugging him and throwing him against the wall that's, yeah, that's pretty badass that's pretty great yeah. Anyway, moving on back to the comments. Moving to a much creepier corner oh God. is uh, Amadeus, who says, I would tie Felicia up, but of course it would be consensual. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then he smiles like, yeah. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking you about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm watching this nice cartoon and I'm aroused. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird. It's very weird. But like, I guess like, I'm surprised it took four episodes for this to get weird and creepy. Then there's another comment which is just says Doc Ock is beating his ass, which is true. <laughs> he gives the kids shit out of them. Yeah, but the 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 thing that's worth bringing up is um, that this guy. It's just the combination here of this comment with a display photo which is Prince, and oh, the no. username Mister I Love the Nineties One, <laughs> which is the most YouTube username of Jesus heard. Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> And then he, someone still brings up the ending of the episode where he's in jail. Yeah. You know his arms are like, like, cut out like strapped that. to either corner yeah. of the room. And uh, Omega Dark Mage says, sucks being Dr. Octopus in jail. He has to stay seated in one spot <laughs> <laughs> that whole time with his tentacles bounce. And it's true, he's just sat in his armour suit. Like, yeah. he can't move. That seat is definitely a toilet. Like, it's just like... <laughs> yeah, it's just nothing else to do there. Yeah, it's just it's like... pretty inhumane. Yeah. Then I uh, get into episode five. We've got... Uh, Mysterio. It's Mysterio time. And, uh, yeah, the, most of the comments here, there are thousands and thousands of comments that I've just... Anybody else watched Far From Home? Or, I've just watched Far From Home. Or, this reminds me of Far From Home. And, um, yeah, there's just a billion of those. But you sort through it and you find someone who says, like, referring to one part of the video where Mysterio clicks his fingers. Yeah. Saying, he snapped his fingers. Spoiler, Infinity War. <laughs> lol infinity wars get into my head <laughs> which i yeah I, I, every every person clicking their fingers is now a reference to uh infinity war, infinity war. especially if you don't explain that at all yeah because yeah. no one's ever clicked their fingers before oh no millions of people have just died <laughs> that's a better reference to the yeah. fucking infi- okay never mind I got, I got very heated for no reason there <laughs> this, is, this is this is not worth anything <laughs> Uh, then we got someone who, who went a bit insane with no punctuation. And I'm going to try and say this without breathing. Okay, ready. <sighs> Screw your far from home garbage and it's going to be screwed up and another bad fake Spider-Man movie just like that Homecoming crap. I loved original trilogy and Tazan movies so much better than your Homecoming and far from home crap. Both will be garbage. I grew up with Spider-Man in the 80s and the 90s, but still to this day, Spider-Man the Animated Series is still the best Spider-Man cartoon in 1994, and I read the real Spider-Man comics from the 80s and 90s, mm. ones who, those were the best Spider-Man comics ever. I just watched Mysterio and Spider-Man the Animated Series over Far From Home garbage. Far From Home is not Spider-Man, it's bullshit. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, I did breathe a few times. You breathed a few times, yeah. unfortunately. It, it would have probably killed you. Like, I was like, That's too far to keep someone who's breathing. Yeah. We got one from Cypher Reese, who says, I'm sorry, what? Jameson has both a laptop and a fax machine in that limo? Did people take their fax machines around the way we do with phones now? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is yes. Everyone had a, a fax, machine. fax machine in a car, in yeah. a pocket. You just carried it around in case anyone faxed you anything. Yeah, it was like having, it was like texting, except like much, much slower. 90s were a weird time. And that's all I got, because now I'm moving on to the comments that henry found yeah. in the other half of the series we've got some doozies and we're going to start with episode six which is sting of the scorpion so yeah we have our first guy which um, i can't really pronounce his username unfortunately but like i, I he kind of like delves into how badly J. Joe and jameson fucked up here. yeah pretty bad. so um our man here who i can't i'm sorry i can't pronounce your username but he goes mistake you call that a mistake you can make mistakes when you failed your school exams. You can make mistakes when you're fixing your radio. When you created a monster, you did not make mistakes. You committed crime against humanity. <laughs> which is which is a pretty good rant. But then his reply is, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to challenge J. Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 
out. And then someone replies to him saying, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Is that the original guy again? Or is that... This is someone else. Oh, a third person <laughs> enters the ring. <laughs> and then and then we've got like Mr. J with 631 who says, Jameson should be put on trial along with defamation of character to the Spider-Man because you know that's law too, which is fair. And then someone else goes to the, and then the original guy kind of goes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he speaking to? <laughs> Some other comment in another language. Oh, right. <laughs> Just like, it's a shit show. This is already a shit show <laughs> when us speaking English. Yeah. Okay, what else have we got? We've I love got... that last game. Did he say, like, he listed, like, a mistake as, like... Was he saying you can make a mistake when fixing your radio? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that dates this guy. A little like bit. A... Is he from the 90s or something? It's in the time machine. Imagine a person from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> what a magical place. He spends all day fixing his radios, and then he goes to YouTube to argue about Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm just so full of radio rage. <laughs> You know what's Tech Mysterio is pretty bad, but you know what's worse? Having to fix your radio. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Prince the Guy, who says, The only thing I didn't like about this series was Spider Woman's two nerfed him. The only things on which he relied were his leaping ability, web, and crawling on wall. It seems like he don't have super strength at all. Whereas in comics, it's stated that he's at twenty five to twenty tons level. I guess that it comes down to the fact that like censorship wise he's not allowed to really punch anyone. Yeah. But he does lift shit up though, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, constantly lifting shit up. Yeah, I don't understand that whole thing of just, like, complaining about people being nerfed yeah. and stuff. I don't... Like, if... Yeah. It's about context, right? Like yeah. It would be kind of weird if, like, Spider-Man kind of came along and just crushed J.J. J- 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 Jameson's head in his hands. Yeah. I think that's what some people want, to be honest. They it's just, a 90s cartoon, they, they want yeah. uh, They want everyone to be, like, horrible. They want everyone to be the Punisher, yeah. you know? Just the Zack Snyder version of this cartoon. Just <laughs> a Spider-Man gets raped in prison. Yeah. Oh, that's, like, a... Henry's actually referencing something Zack Snyder said, by the way. It's not just his imagination. Yeah. This is something he's generally said about Batman, is that, like, my Batman could be raped in prison. It could happen. Yeah. Okay, um... This is a comment that's going to take a while, but I feel like it's actually a really good point. Okay. So, Daniel Wood says, Many nowadays say that people only like the Raimi films for nostalgia. But that's not true. They generally capture the character pretty damn well. I bring this up because I love Spectacular Spider-Man, and when I was younger... I could only occasionally watch an episode of the 90s series because of the timings, so I didn't see much of it. However, I've been watching quite a few episodes recently, by the way, I'm 17, on YouTube, and then they're really, Wait, how really... Long, how long ago was this posted? One year ago. Okay. And they're really, really good. Just because it isn't in the same as Spectacular doesn't mean I don't have to like it. This version captures many great aspects of the character through very fun episodes, and the action is still entertaining, despite the punch restrictions. And Christopher Daniel Barnes, that's the voice actor for Spider-Man, He's such a great voice actor for the character, I didn't have to explain that at all. And I love his quips. It's also worth pointing out that many people disliked Toby because he wasn't joking every five seconds. Which, I don't know, is insulting considering how many other aspects of the character that make him great. Not joking, I have literally seen someone say, joking is Spider-Man's whole personality. I love the quips, but as long as the rest of the aspects of the character are intact, which this show, Raimi's version, and spectacularly nailed, then it's a great adaptation of the character. I don't know, there hasn't been a single entirely bad version of the character. There are bad movies. Sure, and the new show isn't doing anything for me. But overall, each iteration is, has at least one or two lifeful qualities, and I'm glad that fans aren't arguing over who Spider could beat in the fight, but which was the best version of the character. That's like the most sane, normal it's comment on so, YouTube. so, like, lucid. I'm, I feel worried for this guy. Like, it's like a babe in the woods, you yeah. know? Like, he's going to get, I don't know, maybe maybe it's been a year. Maybe now he's, like, arguing about yeah. Israel in the comments somewhere. He's going to full-blown incel. Yeah, so, maybe. But... There's all sorts of stuff that could happen to this guy. But right at that point, he's, like, the only one. Yeah. Although, it is a little strange, I guess, to comment on a... Which episode is this? This, this is uh, Scorpion. Yeah. To go on to an episode about the Scorpion and then just comment about your entire feelings on the anime Spider-Man series. mythos and the movies and everything. Um, yeah. Like, you know, I say to this guy, get a blog. Get a blog. Listen to a, a podcast that we've heard of called That Night with Spider-Man show. I think you might like it. Yeah, and otherwise stay off the internet because you're yeah. a pure soul that is going to be corrupted horribly. If you haven't already been corrupted. We may be yeah. too late. Next, we've got the same guy from our first comment who says, what oh. an idiot. Crazy one mutant because he jated the other. What's next? Nuclear bombing? <laughs> <laughs> to which Dragon Cameron 24 says, Spider-Man isn't mutant. Same with Scorpion. <laughs> to which Hamza Abdullahi says, they are human mutate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thanks Hamza for the um, information. 
I did, I'm, I'm sad I didn't hear about more of the radio, to be honest. I'm kind of, mm. like, disappointed. And then finally, we've just got JJ's one sick fuck. What the fuck is spelled P-H-U-C-C? <laughs> <laughs> like, JJ makes sense as a character yeah. until Scorpion. Yeah. Until making spider slayers and and cre- like creating shit. a monster man to kill spider-man when you get to that point it, it becomes and he's still got to be kind of like a normal person in the story yeah it is a bit of a breaking point i imagine for some people which it's is why it would be you have to take that ultra seriously or like not give a fuck about it yeah you know it'd be like if pierce morgan did that today to decide to create like a, a scorpion robot what's well, like kill the kardashians or yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, that's um, episode six. We're going to go into episode seven now, which is all about Craven. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, questions here. So to start, we've got Lin Yun Chin, who says, Wait, if he was wounded, why feed him the stuff that would stop him from healing up? Which I'm assuming refers to, like, the potion he gets at the end of the episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they give him the potion to cure his, like, jungle powers while he's fucked up. By, but, from... by lions or something like that. Yeah. It's a good point, actually. Yeah. But... Like, who cares? He gives a shit. That's my answer. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a little more sense to wait until he's healed up by his animal powers. Ma. <laughs> I was a stupid kid just to accept this stuff without thinking it through. <laughs> I must have been stupid enough to believe the cure for his condition would also magically heal him with his physical wounds too. Physical wounds too? It ends with a question mark for some reason. Okay, I that's, mean, yeah. That, so, yeah, this guy's got some like issues. Some you know, serious like, rage. You, you, you piece of shit. You, yeah. you believe that? You, yeah. you stupid dumb fuck. <laughs> Like this is why your dad left. <laughs> yeah, he's hating himself right now. Oh, God. Wherever you are, Lin Yun Jin, get some help. You're going to be okay. Then we've got Tori White, who just says, The strong preys upon the weak. Jungle proverb. <sighs> oh, shit. Yeah, this man is crazy. I'm, I'm a bit worried about that guy. Yeah. Then we've got Orange Crusher, who says, Oh, Peter, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did Peter do? I think it's oh, the, wait, no, yeah, yeah. There's that one bit where he's like, you know, Oh, I'm... Uh, she brings out the animal in me, me or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> she's, he's talking about MJ. We've got some like old white men for some reason. Yeah, just like nudging them like eight, 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 eight. eight, eight. Yeah. She's seventeen, eight, eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and this guy, some guy just called Lezak Hal- Halama says Wes Craven. <laughs> that's the entire. Wait, thing. wait, did he say Wes Craven or where is Craven? No, Wes Craven. Oh, Wes Craven. That's even better. Yeah. It's just, it's... He stood there like in silence for like ten minutes trying to think of a yeah. joke, and then just went, "Where's Craven?" It's like that thing in like The Where's... Simpsons where like they have to sing the monorail song, and Homer's like, like "Mono, D- don't." <laughs> yeah, it's like or that. like uh, the Cookie Mart song where they're like doing all their rhyming thing, yeah. and he's like, uh, "The Cookie Mart's real." <laughs> <laughs> like, he just got like no rhyme for it. Yeah. Who needs the Cookie Mart? That was a sticky mart. Mart. Yeah. I was not a singer. I mean there is there's a joke there. Yeah. I mean I'm sure eventually, there's a joke there, but you we'll, could have found it. I'm betting within the next five years we're gonna get a live a action craving in some capacity, whether it's a solo movie or part of like this MC or something. Or, or somehow else in the uh Sony like universe or whatever. And at some point there's gonna be some reviewer or some tweet or something that's gonna make a Wes Craven pun and it will be very good, but none of us have one yeah. right now. There was one there, and this comment didn't realise that. And then we've got this guy, who says, All the villains are created due to love, which is patently <laughs> not, not true for Scorpion. Yeah, it's interesting that that's brought up, because it's not in the Craven origin, no. uh, the whole love thing. And then, I think that's the thing they add into a lot of stuff. They added it with Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2, yes. to have the whole love interest. and She just dies, because he wears a wife feet, so like a science but, experiment. But if you're, if you're saying, like, that there's that they're created through love. That's just bullshit, though, because that's just not true. Yeah, it's created through hubris and insanity. Yeah, and then there was a wife that was there <laughs> who happened to die. I just just want to remind everyone that you're not responsible for others' dysfunction. No, everyone takes care of themselves before they take care of others. That's the that's the takeaway from this. Trying to take care of the weak. Exactly. Well, they don't know they. They prey upon the, the weak. weak. Yeah. No, take care of them. Don't prey upon them. Take care of them. Well, that's where you should. Yeah. I mean, that's the socialist craven. Yeah. But if, not the jungle craven. No, not the capitalist nightmare that is craven. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, he would be a good politician, I guess. Like in like current climate. Uh no, I don't know. He could he's be a, a Republican. A, yeah, but he's a Russian immigrant who, okay. keep, who keeps illegally getting in the country <laughs> through, through boats. So I don't think I don't think anyone in America really wants him right now. <laughs> Build the wall to keep out the pe- the jungle people. 
that's the one time I'd yeah. be on the side. Can we can we bring up our immigration policy to stop jungle ho- like scary like hunter <laughs> people who are coming to hunt people? Yeah, not really a fan of that. Trump would Trump would let him in. There. Yeah, because he's. I don't know how you let him in. He's a fan with friends with Putin. <laughs> yeah, you think about it. Like Putin is like that's the image that Putin wants to give his people is that he's craven. You know that the, yeah. the propaganda of him being super buff and yeah. like one with nature and he's constantly shirtless for yeah and being reason. able to like strangle a bear and yeah. all this stuff it's just like craven trump would love he, craven yeah i bet like that we'll get a craven solo movie and if they retain the russian origins like some edited version will end up in russia and it will like make him <laughs> two billion dollars it's the highest grossing film of all time yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay and then we've got a controversial opinion from cheyenne popal he says craven is one of my least favorite spider-man villain I he this guy I, I recognize that name. This yeah. guy turns up a lot yeah. in uh, in these comment sections. And he just like he gets like a couple And he's of guys. wrong, he's yeah. wrong, he's a Every dumb time piece of shit. It's a troll looking for like attention. Yeah, this is w- what what we really want this episode for, so that we can shout out these people without yeah. them shouting back. Yeah. This is this, yeah. the strong prey upon the, the weak, weak. <laughs> as we've learned today. So yeah, and the, 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 the weak well. make YouTube comments and yeah. the strong make podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Or a whole other level of petty. <laughs> we set us our like, recording equipment just to like talk shit about your comments. Yeah, that's how you comment. Man, imagine, bitch. imagine if. To be honest, a lot of these people could be listening to. I mean, if we're gonna get any listeners, it's gonna be the kind of people who we're gonna look up Spy Money animated series on YouTube. So yeah. they're gonna come across this and be like, "Hey, yeah, yeah why are they talking shit about me? Yeah, this is a good comment." Now we do love you, really, but it's just so much fun to make fun of you because. The strong prayer from the weak. Yeah, you can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're weak, but we love you anyway. Yeah. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the Craven section of this thing. Let's go to some episode eight, which is, as you remember, the first alien costume, which is all about the man Rhino. Oh, man So here Rhino. we go. So <laughs> we start with Oscar Bejarano, who says, the Rhino looking extra thick. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, why, why are we talking about like Margaret Connors and Mary Jane? We like, gotta get that rhino ass. Yeah, Rhino's got like tight ass suit. Yeah. His ass is massive. We talked about this. Ex- if you want to hear us talk about the rhino's yes. ass, head over to uh, episode eight of the show. Well, we talk um, about it exclusively. Yeah, like and, it's like um, a whole like segment. Henry has a, a whole folder full of screenshots of Rhino's ass, actually, on his computer. I genuinely do. That is yeah. that's not a joke we're making for the sake of posterity. Yeah. I genuinely have that folder. And they are screenshots on the episode. You don't like, it's not like f- fan art or Rule 34, don't worry. No, it's, it's very hard to jerk off to. Anyway, <laughs> we have um, this comment from Adam Blee, I guess, who says, I love the fact that Rhino's just wearing his costume, winning for a call. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked about this as well, right? Yeah. And yeah, like, so, yeah, Spider so Man replies, I think I heard in a wiki or something that he's pretty much confused to his costume, so he literally can't take it off. Which you've also said. Well, yeah, they haven't confirmed that in the yeah. show as far as we know. Yeah. And then Felipe Rodriguez is my spirit animal, and he says, The dude can't get it off. It's not his choice. Still hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this guy. Yeah, he's got my spirit animal. Okay, who have we got next? We got <laughs> Does14 who says, he kind of quotes Rhino and saying, i got to polish my horn. And he goes, we all know what that means. <laughs> I don't remember the Rhino saying that. I don't I remember him saying it either, but like, I guess... Yeah, he just it is wanted... uncomfortably close yeah. to uh, uh, innuendo. Yeah. How would he even, like, do that? Not going to talk about this. <laughs> but we literally, you know, like, unless it's like... When I say I don't want to talk about something, that doesn't mean you can talk about <laughs> it on your own. I hear Henry's monologue about... <laughs> Rhino masturbating after you failing to masturbate yeah after you've explicitly spoke about like his ass and how you tried and failed to jerk off to it it's just not a good luck is it yeah sexually frustrated Rhino anyway <laughs> he's endangered <laughs> God. endangered animals are hilarious so they really are well at this podcast anyway we've got another comment who says LMAO Rhino a snitch <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. And this kind of, kind of not really appropriate one. It's from Daniel Ryman who says, where's Sully when you need him? <laughs> Sully. Oh, wait, because of the, the, <laughs> the crashing... The crashing plane. Yeah, Sully didn't drive a rocket. He didn't fly a rocket around. No, and he landed but... on the Hudson, not in the bridge. Yeah. If anything, yeah, like, that's probably not appropriate, but there you go. 
Next is episode nine, which is all about the shocker, and you know mm. what the comments are going to be like. Yeah. So we can start off with a quote from, I guess, Spider-Man who says, the check's in the mail, baby. And then Gord9027 says, this should be cheesy, but it ends up being a badass line, which I don't agree with. <laughs> Checks in the mail, baby. Checks in the mail, baby. And then finally, we've got this kind of interesting like comment from Zero King Silver referring to JJ when he fires Eddie Brock. He says, I can't have someone who works for me calling the truth and leaving out facts. He's against everything that I've stood for. Is he for real? He does that all the time. <laughs> does anyone else see the irony in this? <laughs> Which is a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I don't know how much of that is like metatextual though, because... Yeah. JJ in this isn't that bad, really, no. in terms of, like, he's not like the comics where he's just, like, outright lying about Spider-Man all the time yeah. and accusing him of being Electro. What? Uh, we, we've definitely spoken we've about spoken this about on this the podcast before. Yeah. yeah. No, he just Electro robs a bank or something, and he's like, it's Spider-Man in disguise. <laughs> of course. Yeah. He has different powers, and they're insane. So that brings us to episode 10, which, as you might know, is the Venom episode. And oh, yeah. With Venom being Venom, the internet being the internet, you can bet there are some comments, boy. So let's kick things off with this guy. It's called Slim J H Seven D, who concerned his family by saying, "So there's a part where like Eddie Brock saying like you cost me my job, my reputation, my health, and my apartment," and he says, "When I was a child, I used to walk around crossing this in the apartment." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was almost a spit date. Like, <laughs> and just end, end it. <laughs> Oh no! And Can't... then his mum just says, "He says adds, my mum was concerned." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm concerned too. Yeah, and then we got this guy called Joe Bosio who says, "This is why I started working out when I was younger, lol. I wanted to look like Eddie Brock, which is <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, I can see how that yeah. worked when I I used to watch WWE. Well, it used to be WWF. Yeah, yeah before like, the environment. True nineties kid. Yeah, over here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um. I'd say, like, I uh, wanted to be, like, The Rock or whatever. And my mum would be like, you know, they just, you know, they go to the gym and they pump up their muscles like that and it's not, like, an easy, good thing or anything like that. Yeah. And uh, I remember, I just thought she meant literally they pump the muscles up. Like, so like I, an air pump. Yeah, I went several... And I, I thought that was, like, what steroids were as well. Yeah. I thought they were, like, like a, a bicycle pump yeah. up their, like, you know, muscles. Do you ever try and, like, do it yourself? No, I mean, I'm not stupid. Oh. I'm just... Just a uh, child. Yeah. That's fair. That, was, that probably would have killed you. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I, I might try it now. Yeah. You know, now that I'm a bit wiser. Yeah, and you're a bit stronger, so you get to punch your skin with a bicycle pump. Yeah. Well, there you go. Anyway, this is Zick Heil who kind of... Oh, shit, that's his... I kind of said it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Rewind, <laughs> rewind. Username, right? Zick username. And I, I just said it out loud the first time and I realised what he was going for. Right. So it's like Z-Y-C-K-H-Y-L-E. And I said it out loud. Right, okay. And then obviously it sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's with some of these things. Yeah. Like, say username, not like just jump into it because it's going to be like, I love big titties in 89 and then uh, and then everyone will think you love big titties. Yeah. Um, oh, which, no. is, which is not true. You hate them. Awful. I hate them. Yeah. With a passion. Yeah. Emotional you, n- you never you never see a username that's like I hate big titties. No, no, even, like no, even I hate big butts. I love big butts, sure, but not I hate big butts. Yeah. Anyway, so our man that username says, "Why would you want Proc's body? You shouldn't be able to run with an upper body this big, <laughs> <laughs> and it's really unpractical." Which again, he has a point apart from the username. Yeah. And then we got Demon... the, the worst person you know has made a great point. <laughs> yeah. And then this is a really weird thread about Venom's lips. Okay, no, I can see where they're coming from yeah. already. We never spoke about it, but Venom's got some definite, like, weird lips going on. Yeah. So. Um, oh, wait, no, this doesn't go well. The, the, the thing I don't like about this Venom is the clown lips thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just clown lips for now. Yeah, I think that's the only problem with the design, to be honest, yeah. but and wh- then, what are yeah. you going to do? Then, yeah, that's what you can do. That's what um, Justin J- Jackwise said. He says, he had lips in the comics, that's why. <laughs> and then um, Killmonger Porter, we're going to have to bleep this out when we do it, but he says... We haven't got those n- lips. <laughs> I thought he was going to go here. Unfortunately, it lived up to my expectations. And then it goes even worse when Chad Nixon, who says, I love Venom's sexy lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this 
this is why this is what this episode is all about <laughs> got Ben and Sexy left <laughs> <laughs> oh god please move on <laughs> And then we've got um, Sal Alvarez Baltisi who says, and like I don't know his, his spelling is all over the place, but I'm guessing he's saying Spider Man's men's physic, Venom classic physic, Reno open category, Shocker tacos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. I think. Yeah, tacos, man. Yeah. Sh- Shocker looks like a giant taco. Let's go like. that taco physique. Yeah. yeah. He kind of looks like a taco. He's like yellow with like little black bits in the middle. Don't, don't, that doesn't make any less sense than what that. He doesn't have black bits in the middle either. No, uh, I guess I haven't mostly talked in a while. Oh yeah, this long comment about Avi Arad. Oh. This is Avi only forced Sam Raimi to add him in the movie, and that's it. Avi tells him to make a five foot eleven tall, high pitched raptor. <laughs> Did Avi tell him to have Venom with a wimpy ass voice instead of that symbiotic voice? What happened to We Are Venom? LMAO. Did Avi tell Sam, "Hey, Raimi." Remember Green Power Ranger Doc Ock? Venom should commit suicide like them instead of saving him for Spider-Man 4. And that's why Raimi admitted that Spider Cringe 3 is an abomination and it's his fault. Wait, it's Sam Raimi's fault? Though. Yeah. He just spent the whole thing to saying how it was Avi Arad's fault. Yeah. yeah. I have heard a theory that um, Sam Raimi intentionally made, or subconsciously made Venom shit because he didn't want to do him. Yeah. So he just like made out the shit as part of the movie. He's like, fuck you, I don't want to do this shit. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I love the... the uh, Whatever happened to We Are Venom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. But yeah, the Venom comments are I think my favourite comments of this entire run. And then we're going to go into episode 11 and 12 with the Hobgoblin. Pronounce that right? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to put these in like together because I can't tell the difference between the two episodes because they are the same episode. We start off with... This nonsensical one. I don't know what they're trying to go for, but Eugenia, pa- patron, get in touch, because I don't know what you're trying to say, but the Joker equals Hobgoblin. Alfred Pennyworth equals Dr. Octopus. And Rosal Ghoul equals Herbert Landon. I know what they're saying. Okay. I know what they're saying. I actually make sense. Oh, but you shit. don't need to get in touch. Okay. Voice actors. Mark Hamill did Joker and Hobgoblin. Yeah. The voice actor of uh, Alfred Pennyworth did... Who was it? Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus. Really? And then there's a character that comes in later in the show called H- Hubert Langton, who was the same voice actor as Russell Ghoul. Shit. So, yeah, I that makes sense. I stand patron. Email in if you like, but don't talk shit to me, please. Ah, yeah, don't worry. I'm on I'm on your side. <laughs> and then this guy, Sharon Propel's back. <laughs> oh, yes. He says, Green He's... Goblin and Hop Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Hop Goblin? <laughs> Hop Goblin. Oh, Hot Goblin. No, Hop Oh, Hop Goblin. Hop Goblin. Ah, oh, there is an ale called Hop Goblin. They should have called it Hop, Hop Goblin. Yeah, that would have made much Hops more sense. Hop Goblin. Hop Goblin, yeah. It's a Hoppy Goblin. And then we got a comment this time, a reply to this from JF who says, Um, yeah, did you really need to comment that? <laughs> <laughs> That's so many of these because the yeah. ones we're leaving out from these are yeah. like so much of it is. Uh, like, why the fuck is, are you talking? Or it's just like quoting something from yeah. it. Or just like being like ex- describing what happened in the video. Yeah. You're like, I saw, I, the, I saw video. the video. I just, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and then like Shine gets back, he hits back saying, Can you just shut up? <laughs> it is none of your business. <laughs> oh, Wasn't everyone acting like, like they're just posting on their own personal space? Yeah. It's like a Facebook page or something ridiculous. And this comment actually like cracked me up. He says, No way a sub 200 pound Parker push over a 450 pound kingpin that people become really suspicious um i don't know he did kind of like run and dive with the full force of his body but this is the kingpin who's... and king well, weak ankles <laughs> i mean look at the little legs he's got i skipped leg day <laughs> he definitely did he's so hench on top very top heavy he wouldn't let me back in the gym <laughs> yes it brings up a good point though like if he was a regular teenager, like he'd be like a ketchup stain in like Kimpin's white suit. That's the Hobgoblin edition. And then finally, we've got the Chameleon. Oh, yeah, last of the series. Last of the series. Physio finale. What have we got in the series finale? And then Codemaster says, God, she kind of sucks when you can't even remember what your own boss looks like. <laughs> yeah, good point. Good yeah. point. They fucked up with, they uh, fucked up a little with bit Nick there. Fury there, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. And then this comment from username, Son of Proud Indian Mother. <laughs> so it's chameleon has no powers 
just transforms himself to any other personality, just like the chameleon. Wait, what? Say again? The chameleon has no powers. Just transforms himself to any other personality, just. He, he says he says duat, but I'm assuming he means just like the chameleon. So the chameleon does something just like the chameleon does. Exactly. I thought maybe I'd misheard one of those chameleons, but nope. But yeah, he just that, said that. that was a sentence that started nowhere and ended nowhere. It went in a big circle of nowhere. Interesting Thanks, that yeah. the chameleon is the chameleon. Yeah, the chameleon acts like a chameleon. And but this... he didn't even say a chameleon. He said the, chame- the yeah. chameleon. Yeah. Thanks, and I'm proud of your mother. Your mother would have been very proud of you. And finally. Some good old racism to round uh, things off. Of course. From Top 10 Trending, who says, The good old days when Fury was still white. Not that I'm racist. Just saying. <sighs> and that's how we're going to choose to end things. Yeah, I knew that would come up with uh, with really? Comedian, because of course we got the comic version, or the original 616 comic version with, yeah. of White Fury. Yeah. Pre predate. White Fury sounds like a racist <laughs> kung fu movie. <laughs> yeah, Black Fury sounds like a black exploitation movie yeah. as well. But I don't know. It was weird that that I remember there being such little pushback on the idea of yeah. uh, of Samuel L. Jackson playing Nick Fury back in uh, Avengers slash Iron Man. Yeah, because you know there was. You know, it had been a lot of years of of white Nick Fury, and then people were getting mad about like Heimdall being made black with Idris Elba, and yeah. no one gives a fuck about Heimdall like in the comics. He's yeah. just like it's a indeed. minor character in yeah. in the four comics. So people got really mad about that. Uh, so I don't know why it didn't happen with Samuel Jackson, or maybe it's because I didn't have Twitter then, so I didn't notice. I think it was because it was two thousand and eight, and we just voted Obama in, and we did, like defeated racism. Oh right, yeah, we had like a year. Or, like, yeah, was, that was, was like, a good over, year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how how was that year for you? <laughs> it was it was great. Were yeah. you just like walking around like, wait, there's no institutional racism today? Yeah. You was, know, I can hear weird. the birds. <laughs> yeah, I can hear the birds singing. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the most burden of hundreds of years of slavery like behind me. Yeah, no one's called me the N word in so long. Mm. They tell me to go back to my country. It's weird. And then um, and then 2009 hit, and uh, it yeah. was all over. It was a nice year. And then Iron Man Two came out. And all the racists came back. Yeah. And then Iron Man 3 came out, and then, like, the racists kind of were like, we're going to go to other things now, because this isn't really relevant to race at all. And then... Yeah, yeah racism got really confused. It wasn't it's not confined to the Iron Man trilogy, is what we're trying to clarify. Unfortunately, we don't really live in an era of Black Fury. <laughs> as much as we'd like to. Maybe soon. But, yeah, that's the uh, animated series for Spider-Man. Comment my comment. But, yeah, what did you think, folks? What did you think of the public? The glorious public? <laughs> I think, you know, this has been kind of fun. I might just make this a small segment of the episode by episode l- deep dives that we're okay, doing. Like, sure. when, like when season two starts, like... We'll just take we'll, a, like an episode. And we'll just, just... We'll go episode by episode, you know? Okay. That, I mean, that could be fun. Too. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that, actually. And if you have any suggestions for us, please let us know. We're, we're like, open to any and all, like, comments. Just don't... Uh, well, don't, don't... No, not all comments have to yeah. listen to this, but... Don't go to YouTube. Yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll go to YouTube so you don't have to. Yeah, but saying that, you should just hollow us up on Twitter and be like, "Don't say anything racist on our Twitter, please." Same way with our SoundCloud, maybe our YouTube as well. But yeah, keep in touch, guys. And make sure to check out because if you're coming to this first, because you like, fucked up really, by the way. Yeah, but I can understand that you're like, "Oh, it's just slightly shorter one." Let's go yeah. this, but yeah, there's probably references here where you're like, "Man, I really should have." Watch. listen to all those other episodes yeah i'm gonna devote a lot of my time to this and you yeah. should and we endorse that i'm unemployed right now yeah. so i'll just listen to podcasts all yeah. day this is the only thing i have left in my life yeah that's okay we'll be here for you even if like, your, your job is terrible your wife leaves you and your children hate you i thought you were gonna go into the friends theme tune for a second i was thinking about it yeah but i just i was i should have done that now yeah it's too late now is it like no, it's too late yeah I was going to say we're going to be there for you, but we're not. Any last words, Jack? <laughs> the strong prey on the weak. <laughs> That's right. The strong prey on the weak, guys. So remember that and go about your lives. Thank you.